Hi guys, it's Tyler from After The Run, and today was my first run uh, since my hamstring injury a few weeks ago. So I just wanted to walk you through kind of the recovery process, what I've learned about hamstring injuries, and what I've done, um, and then maybe what I would do differently if I had another injury. First, um, if you've seen my last video, a few weeks ago, I competed in my first kind of adult athletic competition. It was the Utah Summer Games, and I did the high jump and the 100 meter. And while I was doing the 100 meter, I pulled my hamstring. Um, right towards the end of the race, I didn't warm up properly, and I pulled my hamstring. And so that stunk, and I had to drop out of the competition for the other events I was signed up for. Um, but, you know, I was grateful to at least be able to do the, the high jump, and I, I won an, a medal for that. And if you want to learn more about that, that's in my last video. Um, but as immediately I went home and I, I put some ice on it and I Googled it. I'm like, what should I do for a hamstring injury? And so I, I looked it up and I, I read a bunch of articles. And I watched some videos. And here's what I learned about hamstring injuries. Your hamstring is your muscles and tendons on, you know, on your quad, on the backside of your thigh. Um, and it's where they kind of intersect. And uh, I guess for cyclists, hamstring injuries are really common because you use them so much. As a runner, this is my first ever hamstring injury. I've run thousands of miles. I'm an ultra marathon runner. Um, and this is my first hamstring injury and I hated it. <laughs> but the good news is, as far as sports injuries are concerned, hamstrings typically are something that you can recover from relatively quickly and they're not gonna do lasting damage, usually. So, I learned that the best thing you can do for a hamstring injury is it's called the RICE method, which is rest, I is ice, then C, compression, put some compression on it, and E is elevate. And if you have a hamstring injury, you're going to want to do that right away because you're going to be in a lot of pain. Uh, whether it's a grade one strain, which is really mild, or a grade two is a partial tear, or grade three is a full tear, um, I experienced probably a grade one but it, it really hurt. So for the rest of the day, I iced it, I elevated it, and I spent the whole day with, you know, off my feet. And that was the right thing to do. Um, over the next several days, I, I continued to ice it a few times a day. Um, I did take some ibuprofen to help with the pain. And I was amazed. Within a few days, it was feeling a lot better. So foolishly, I started getting back uh, to things. Now, I knew I shouldn't go running, but I started walking again. And after... It had been four or five days. I was out on a walk with my dog, and another dog came and attacked my dog. And while I was coming, I did something stupid. <laughs> I'm really slow, but I tried to kick the dog. Like, the, oh, see, now I'm stupid. I kind of did, did it again. I, not, a, not as bad this time, but I tried to kick the dog. And as I did that, I felt, uh, and with a, a full tear, you're going to hear a pop. Uh, on a hamstring injury, but I felt immediately I tore my hamstring again. So it was already tender, it was healing, and then I tried to kick this dog and I have a partial tear. So that's a grade two hamstring injury. Same treatment, you're gonna ice it, elevate it, but now I have to be more careful. So for the next week after that, I didn't go walking, I didn't do anything, I tried to elevate it. Uh, I learned more about hamstring injuries. I was really nervous because I have big goals for running this year. And I wanted to get back in training and you have to rest when you get injured. And so I stayed off it for a week. And then fortunately with mild uh, strains or, or partial tears, if the healing goes well, if you're doing things right, you can be back up on it within a few weeks. And so after a week of full rest, then I started walking again and I started walking really slowly. And I started like half a mile, then a mile and worked up to two miles. Now I'm at the three week mark since that tear and today was my first day running and I ran one mile. I did it in 14 minutes, so super slow and it was painfully slow for me, but I knew it was the right thing to do. And so I, I went running today. I, I did my best to go as slow as possible. I did a mile walk warm up. I'm doing my mile walk cool down now. And that's how I dealt with my, my hamstring injury. Um, now, Moving forward, I can't get right back into training. I have to be careful. And so my goal for this week is similar to today, just do a little bit of walking and then some really, really light jogging and easing back up. So by hopefully by the end of this week, I'll go on my first like normal run, which would be 
three miles and that might be too much. Uh, normally on the weekends I want to do anywhere from seven to 15 miles. But for this weekend, I'm, I'm working up to a very, very slow three miles. No interval training, no speed workout, uh, just trying to get there. And hopefully this will help me come back from injury um, and better and stronger and smarter than before. Uh, so that's what I'm doing. Bye.